Tonight, how are we all feeling? Are we good? Yeah. Now, before we start, Liars Club is intended for the 18 and overs, and especially to, for those with a sense of humor. If you forgot your sense of humor today, or you're the, under the age of 18, I would strongly recommend you leave while you still can. You, oh no, okay, I thought he was heading out. Now, friends, <laughs> what is this game? Who's been to Liars Club before? Yeah. Like six of you. Great, for everyone else. This is a game of wordplay this evening. I've got a panel of comedians joining me out here on stage tonight. I'm gonna to give them a word and they have to take it in turns to define that word. They're gonna tell you what it means. One of them will be telling the truth. Two of them, making it up. It's your job to decide who is telling the truth and who is lying. So are you ready to meet the panel? Please welcome to the stage from the Punchline of Comedy Club, Happy Cole. Come on out, Happy. We've also got Calvin Sean Champagne Martins. Come on out, Calvin. Now, I know you're looking at him, you're thinking, he's got a uniform. Yes, he is one of the senior officers here aboard the celebration. And of course, from the Punchline of Comedy Club, Tommy Drake. Come on out, Tom. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, Lee. How are you? I'm happy, thank you. Stop that. <laughs> okay, I'll leave the jokes to you. Thank right. You. Friends, our first word of the night is Winkle Picker. No, hang on, you're not supposed to know what it is, okay? Winkle Picker. Who'd like to go? Tommy, you want to go first? I will go first. Before I, before I start, let me say it's an honor to be on stage with one of our finest presenters, your cruise director, Lee. Give Lee a round of applause. This is Lions Club, right? Yes. And, okay. I've, uh, <laughs> and I have, uh, I've been lucky. I've worked with all of the funny people on the planet, and uh, two of the funniest people uh, living today are sitting right next to me, Calvin and Happy. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> Thank and you, and Calvin is my boss, and he told me if I did this, he'd give me a free bottle of water. <laughs> and that's why I'm here tonight. Winkle Picker. Uh, Winkle Picker, I learned about this when I was traveling in Amsterdam. We went on a, a cheesemaking tour. We took a tour of a... And there was a master cheesemaker. We didn't get to meet him, but he had a couple of apprentices that actually gave us the tour. And they showed us they had these tubs. They put the raw milk and some other stuff in these tubs, and they let them settle. And then there's, there's, there's like this watery stuff on the top. The cheese is in the middle. And on the bottom of these cheese-making tubs, there's this kind of hard sediment. And they have this long tool that has sort of a curved metal end that they use to scrape up the sediment on the bottom of these cheese tubs. <laughs> Can anybody guess what that tool, that tool is called? <laughs> no, it's called a scraper. But the apprentice to the master cheese maker is actually called a winkle picker. There you go. You learn something new every day. Yes. You are welcome. Entertainment and education. Who'd have thought it? Thank you, Tommy. Of course, Lee. Happy. Yes, Lee. <laughs> I was amazed by Tommy's definition. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I felt a spark. Yeah, that's when you lie like that, smoke comes out of you. Happy Sit pants on fire. Yes, yes. Winkle picker. Winkle picker. Uh-huh. Am I saying it correctly? I think so. Did, you don't know what the hell the word is? Winkle. Picker. Does that help? <laughs> oh, they're embraced. Well, it's because the British say things yeah. so much better than we do. Yeah. You know, you can't fight for hell, but I mean, you can, you can. You know, you... Here's a good idea. Let's go into green South Carolina woods and wear bright red jackets. They'll never see us. Come on, let's go. Thank you, Happy. No, no, you're welcome, Lee. <laughs> and God bless the Queen. All right, anyway. Uh, Winko Picker. All right. A lot of people don't understand how these two words came together. 
It is a combination of words that will allow you to feed yourself in case you are somewhere where you cannot get food. Let's say you're on an island uh, butt naked. I, I, I don't know. All right, let's say, say you're out there and you got no food, you got no shelter, you got no nothing. Winkle Picker. Am I saying it right again? Winkle? It's a good shot. Yeah, Winkle Winkle Picker will allow you to uh, feed yourself. And here's what it is. It is a garment that you put on your feet. <laughs> you are not laughing at this and you listen to that BS right there. It is a garment you put on your feet and it will allow you hand free, hand free to open small crustacean like mullets and stuff like that. That's what it is, right? So what you do is, without using your hands, if you see them in the water, you first trap it, right? Take the other foot and stab it. <laughs> trap, stab. Trap, stab. Trap, stab. And that's how you feed yourself and there's nothing else left to eat except for that. And that's the tool you use. Wickle, pick it. Thank you. Trap and stab. We'll be doing that dance on the deck tomorrow night. <laughs> Thank you, Happy. Okay. Don't clap it. Don't clap it. It's one of those nights, isn't it? Okay. Calvin. Sean Champagne Martins. Over to you. Thank you, Lee. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, You're right. I, I thought these He's chairs would be deeper. <laughs> Bye. It's okay. Um, this uh, what was this? <laughs> Winkle picker. It doesn't right. require a demonstration. It's this zipper. Yeah. Okay. Is my oh my zippers undone? Yeah. Well, welcome to welcome to online dating on a cruise ship. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your mind's up. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. All right. Yeah. Fishing. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was the worst? Winkle pickup. Uh, so, um, this word actually reminds me uh, of, uh, of my very first uh, job I ever had. Um, when I was turning 12, my dad made me pay rent, so I had to go out and get a job. And um, I got a job with a local Dairy Queen. Ah! <laughs> it was like the mothership calling me home. Ah! <laughs> um, uh. Anyways, after two days I was fired because I couldn't get that curly cue on top of the cone just right. It mattered. And, um, oh, well, then I got a job at, at Subway. <laughs> um, but uh, just because you're called a sandwich artist doesn't mean you have any artistic control. <laughs> Winkle kicker. I thought the mustard should go on top of the wheat bun for a color contrast. And, um, Um, but then rent was due and my mom gave me really good advice she said Calvin as long as there's a street corner you'll always find work <laughs> but uh, I never had change for a five <laughs> Nineties. <laughs> <Yeah>, of course, I've <laughs> been retaining water for years.
like what we do in locker rooms. I um. <laughs> but then I got the best job in the world. <laughs> Winkle. Parker. I became uh, uh, the drive-through supervisor at KFC. <laughs> I'll never forget my first day. I remember I put on black polyester pants and, and my low thread count maroon colored shirt and my visor and my battery pack. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget my first car. Ding! That's the sound it made in my ear. <laughs> I said, what is I said, from? welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. How can I help you? <laughs> they asked me how many pieces in a 10 piece meal. <laughs> I said, I think it's nine, but let me go check. <laughs> I can go in the bathroom and eat the 10th piece until my sadness was gone. <laughs> But I'm fine now. You fake? Thank you. <laughs> Calvin. Calvin. <laughs> Calvin. Yes. Winkle. Winkle picker. Yeah, it's an Irish poncho. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, audience, over to you. You've got to try and let me know who you think was telling the truth. Good luck. Is a Winkle Picker the person responsible for scraping cheese gunk off the bottom of a barrel? No. With the scraper, that no, the scraper was the tool. No, okay. Is a Winkle Picker um, a pair of shoes you can use to feed yourself? <laughs> Or is it an Irish poncho? Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Panel, if you were telling the truth, step up now. <laughs> a type of shoe used to open shellfish or mollusks. There you go. Yes. Towers. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Now, our next word. Titty nope. <laughs> Titty nope. All one word. All one word. Titty nope. Spell it. Uh, titty, the expected spelling for the wine. <laughs> I'm sure you're familiar. Uh, nope, the expected spelling. Right. Who's going, who's going first? Um, happy. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you uh, use that in a sentence for me, Lee? <laughs> this is not the spelling bee. <laughs> Please define titty nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, titty nope, again, combination of two words. <laughs> As Lee so eloquently pointed out, titty and nope. Uh, this word derived from uh, uh, San Francisco in the early 80s. Uh, it was a standard answer when a gay man was offered a titty. Would you like a titty? Yeah. Titty no. Yeah. 
So that's, uh, you know, and, and, and the other thing about that word is too, you know, it can be used in multiple uh, areas there. You know, you can use that anywhere, you know. Uh, a guy could ask you ladies, can I see your titty note? <laughs> What's that, ma'am? Yeah, yes, ma'am, that's what I just said. <laughs> I don't need to repeat it, I said. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's my meaning of it. It is a word that uh, will say to someone who offers you a breast that you have no desire to see that breast. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Thank you, Happy. <laughs> Tell me you're ready to go. Your turn. I find what Happy said to be more believable than a shoe that opens mollusks. <laughs> uh, Tinny Nope's actually an old English word, uh, and it was in uh, uh, Shakespeare. I believe Love's Labor's Lost, I believe, was the first time in print. I looked some stuff up today. I paid for internet. <laughs> Uh, and, and Titty Nope, there's some, some cool that we get to do. Well, usually it's cool at the end of my work day, I get to go down to the crew mess and I get to eat food with the crew. And it's great, we talk about you guys, it's a lot of fun. Uh, uh, the problem is there's a lot of crew members on this ship and if I don't get down to the mess soon, there's not gonna be a lot left uh, for me. Uh, Titty Nope are the last little bits of food left in the pan. Tonight, uh, if this goes on too long, all that will be left for me in the mess is a titty nope of rice. Thank That's what you. the word means. Very serious tonight, is Tommy. Obviously hangry. <laughs> hangry. I, had a, I had a long, long, long night. I had a bunch of shows. I get it. I get okay. it. Calvin. Calvin. Yes, thank you, Lee. <laughs> um, <laughs> this word um, actually um, reminds me of a very sad story, and I'd like to share that with you tonight. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so, um, um, when <laughs> When I was, when I was, <laughs> when I was, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you okay? No, yes, this is very sad. Um, when I was turning um, four, um, <laughs> it could have been eight. I don't know. They all blend together. Um, my parents decided to hire um, one of these uh, circus ponies to get rides at my party. <laughs> uh, but none of these ponies are ever in good condition. <laughs> but this one dropped dead. <laughs> it just wasn't much fun after that. <laughs> One kid would sit on it while the rest of us would drag it around in a circle. <laughs> Mama would go behind it, clucking coconut shells together. <laughs> Galloping. I could never ride. I was pushed it because, of course, I was retaining water at that time. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> no, it's as I was. <clears throat> Just sometimes when I get for clamped, I I can't breathe all I wanted to breathe. <laughs> so. I was born um, with a very narrow esophagus, and um, <laughs> the doctors told my mom I would never be able to eat solid foods. <laughs> I'll show them. <laughs> I'm basically a 
medical marvel. <laughs> you are. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, the next year, for my birthday, the, my parents tried to make up for it, so they promised to take me to see Walt Disney on ice, but it was just some old guy in a freezer. <laughs> oh, shit. He did not say that. He did not say that. <laughs> yeah, he said it. <laughs> I still have my pen. <laughs> Yes, the definition, thank you. Um, they're Japanese chopsticks. <laughs> made in China. <laughs> From Canadian wood. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Good luck. Uh, is it the polite way to decline the generous offer of a bosom? Really? Really? Did you know? Is bosom? That a bosom. What are you, 72 years old? What the hell? I'm trying to bring a little class to the show. Oh, oh, so you're saying, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, okay. Say the word then. Titty no. There you go. <laughs> Is it the way to refuse a boob? <laughs> what are you, eight now? What the hell? <laughs> Pick an age and stick with it. Good lord. Is Bosom it to boob? Is it a last little bit of rice left in the bowl? Or is it some Japanese chopsticks made in China from Canadian wood? <laughs> Why not? Also known as chopsticks. Okay, friends, if you're telling the truth, reveal yourself now. It was time. You are getting better at this game. Thank you. So the next word, trickier. The next word, oh. at all. Ah. Huh? At all. At all. At all. At all. At all. At all. Who A T H O L. I know this word. You got Athol, it. Athol. It's spelled A T H O L. Yeah. Athol. Take it. There's Athol's on the crew. There's <laughs> Athol's in the audience. Some of you brought Athol's with you <laughs> on your vacation. Uh, Carnival offers this new thing. We have a free uh, ancestry uh, uh, DNA thing that we do it on ships now. What you do is you walk around. <laughs> Uh, and Athol is actually a word that describes uh, another person that you don't know, but who looks like they might be a relative. Wow. So if you see somebody and they look like every, like Happy and I get mistaken for brothers all the time. You see somebody and they look like you might be related, that person is an Athol. Thank you. Happy. Can you use that word in a sentence for me, Lee? <laughs> Stop being an Athol. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you and I are bosom buddies. Uh, uh... <laughs> tiddy nope, tiddy nope, tiddy nope, tiddy nope. Athol, Athol. Uh, this word comes from an old... <laughs> what happened? His bosom dropped. <laughs> Got a little bit excited? Okay, easy, easy, easy. This word comes from an old English definition. 
very old, maybe the 15th or 16th century. I'm a historian, I know this to be true. What the hell are y'all looking at me like that for? I know this is riveting, stop it, man. stop it. It is an old word and it means simply this, all right? Go down your family tree, all right? Go down your family tree. And when you get, why are you breathing so damn heavy? I hear you, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're saying, mm -hmm. like you want me to keep going. I think you're saying what you're saying. Okay, no you're not. <laughs> if you go down your family tree, when you get all the way from your great, 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 great grandfather, whatever you are left with, in that lineage, you will be one eighth. So the word comes from the old English dictionary, which means you are one eighth Scottish. One eighth Scottish. Down, 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 present day, one eighth Scottish. What? What? <laughs> we are taking this game a lot more seriously now, aren't we? Thank you, Happy. No, no, thank you, Lee. <laughs> Calvin Taking his game seriously <laughs> Thank you Lee um. <laughs> So can you say the word again please? I thought Story you get. Oh, no problem. <laughs> told me to define the word. <laughs> no, it's just it's the pressure of entertaining. <laughs> the only sports I was ever into was theater. I um, I uh, I um. Uh huh been hearing, we've only been traveling around on the ship for only a few days. Fine. Okay. And, uh, and um, I kind of like hear the whispers, right? Because I'm quite tall and I'm wearing stripes. And uh, so I look, you know, people might mistake me for the captain or something. But, um, anyway. Um, <laughs> Nope, um, sometimes in this, <laughs> this happens mostly when I'm in the elevator because um, the stairs are for the guests. And um, I, uh, <laughs> Hospitality 101. But as I'm leaving the elevator, and I hear the whispers behind my back as the door closes, and um, it's like, is he, isn't he, oh, I think he is. Uh, so it's just, it's a night of honesty, right? And uh, I'm just going to come out and say it, because who cares? It's 2023. But for those of you who, who were wondering, it's true what you're saying about me, I am one-eighth black. What? I mean, <laughs> just me. <laughs> Come on, my brother. Say that to me again, fist me. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, let me call it. I'm my fist. I am. Um... <laughs> One is black. <laughs> it's true, though, I do. I come from a. <laughs> I 
Không Anyway, whenever I'm at home and in my home in Scotland, ah. I, <laughs> and I'm missing the ship, and I'm missing my boo. Stop it! <laughs> Titty, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I go into my mother's my mother's room and I put my head on her bosom. <laughs> and uh, she sings me to sleep. <laughs> folkloric song. Okay. Calvin. Cal Calvin, yes? Yes, it's a French Speedo. <laughs> and tomorrow there's going to be men on Lido deck who think they can wear Speedos. to be fair, right? I think that I, I, last time I saw a man a um, walking towards me and he had a speedo on it looked like a squirrel trying to wrestle its way out of a crowd of water bag. Oh, he's after his nuts. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah. um, Ethel. Thank you. French. <laughs> Good luck. Isn't Ethel someone who looks like they could be related to you? No one, not a single person. Okay. Isn't Ethel, no, it's too late. Isn't Ethel someone who is one eighth Scottish? Or is an Ethel a French Speedo? You don't sound very sure about any of those. Okay. Uh, uh, Panel, if you were telling the truth, stand up now. None of them. Uh, Happy was telling the truth. And Ethel, someone who is one-eighth Scottish, I believe it's a boy, who is a one-eighth Scottish. Okay, one more word. Inspired by the way Calvin's been looking at Happy this evening. Lee. You're Do your welcome. damn job. Leave that alone, okay? <laughs> yes, Lee. We're daytime friends and nighttime. <laughs> the word <laughs> is. <laughs> daytime friends and nighttime. Yeah, the, the word is. <laughs> cockatoosh. <laughs> sounds fun. <laughs> He said cockatoosh. Cockatoosh. Cockatoo. Cockatoosh. 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 I'll go first. Is that okay, Lee? You are first. more than welcome to go first. C O C K A T O U C H E, I believe. Cockatoosh. 
<laughs> Calvin, that mom that, that sang you to sleep, she was not from the black side of your family, was she? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I'll be brief, for obvious reasons. Cockatoosh. <laughs> uh, cockatoosh is just, it's an old word that we don't use anymore, but it's a tiny, it's a tiny freshwater fish, and it, it's, it's basically a bait fish, but you can't eat them, but they're so small that you would like eat them whole, bones and all, like that's, that's uh, the definition that I found. Uh, that's a cockatoosh. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Happy. Would you like to, Cockatoosh? I don't have a choice, Lee. I'm in the game. Uh, <laughs> cockatoosh. Uh, that is a delicacy somewhere in the world. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the world, it's, it's a meal. And what it is, uh, it is the... Uh, orange part of uh, the <laughs> ass of the bird. <laughs> the cockatoosh is the bird's ass and it's a, in certain places like Indonesia they enjoy that as a meal. As a titty uh, note. Titty, titty note, no. They, they, they enjoy it as a meal, and what happens is it's cooked across the world different ways, though. Uh, you know, Indonesians, they just eat it raw. You know, they just grab a cock and... Uh, uh, black people, we, as we do everything, fry the hell out of it. Uh, In French, it is a French. In French, France, it is served with a uh, Benoit. <laughs> a Benoit and some cockatoosh is a very good meal in France. So that's what it is. It is a meal across the world cooked different ways by different ethnicities. Cockatoosh. Thank you. Happy. <laughs> Calvin. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> this may not come as a huge surprise to many of you, but <clears throat> I didn't have any friends in high school. <laughs> it's true. My mother once told me that Rosemary had a better baby. <laughs> I know, but I'm fine. Um, I had a solo once in the church choir, and my pastor told me it was okay to lip sync, God would still hear me. <laughs> it was jingle bells. <laughs> But I'm fine. Um, this um, this one night when I was locked in my school locker overnight, um, of course my parents called it Tuesday date night. Um, I I had one of my very favorite books because back then books were my friends, and and so was Little Debbie, and she was. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this one Tuesday night I was reading one of my favorite books and it was the E volume of the encyclopedia and if you haven't read it, oh boy, you should. It's a great read. Um, the author's fantastic. He has 25 more in the series and um, you don't even have to read them in order. Anyway, um, this one night um, when I was uh, reading, I was stumbled across eagles and uh, how they mate. And I don't know if you know this or not, but what they do is they fly um, like two miles above the Earth's surface, which is very high for a bird. And um, 
then they go at 80 miles per hour, which is very fast for a bird. And then they join up and then they free fall and they don't stop free falling until the act of mating is complete. So sometimes the ground comes first. <laughs> and they die, they die. That's what's happened to all the eagles. And um, right in the middle. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if it was me and I was an eagle and mating and, and, and free falling and, 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 and saw the ground coming, I'd seriously consider faking it. Big fish. If you eat it, you eat the eat the bone as well. <laughs> Is it some dish that's cooked around the world? A delicacy of a globe. A, a rooster's ass, essentially. Yes, thank you. No, I was trying to be polite about it, but yes. Or is it? An Egyptian pianist. <laughs> you don't care, do you? Okay, panel, if you were telling the truth, stand up now. It, it was Tommy. Cockatoosh, a freshwater fish. And friends, it's not about the definitions, it's about having fun. If you enjoyed this game tonight, <laughs> then please put your hands together for our panel, your punchliner, comedy club headliners, Happy Cole and Tommy Drake. And Cal Calvin's gone. Good Friends, therapy. we need to. Friends, stay up late. Have fun, make memories. We'll see you around the ship tomorrow. Good night. Put your hands together for your cruise.